The 2021 Drive Car of the Year Award for the Best Performance SUV is a sales category that doesn't formally exist, but you've been buying them, so we felt we should shake this very powerful tree and see which one came out on top. Our finalists for this year are the BMW X5 M with a twin-turbo 4.4-litre V8, the Audi RS Q8 with a 4-litre twin-turbo V8, and down the back, the Porsche Macan GTS with a 2.9-litre twin-turbo V6. This year, our judges will not only be looking at interior refinement, quality, technology, and overall practicality, but we are on a track. So outright performance and driver enjoyment are absolutely front of mind for these three cars. Playing at this end of the performance SUV field means you have to dig a little deeper into your pockets, and while all three finalists are feature-packed, none of them come cheap. The Macan GTS starts from $112,300, and don't forget that you can also step one rung further up the ladder into the Macan Turbo, which starts from $145,200. The 2.9-litre twin-turbo V6 engine makes 280 kilowatts and 520 newton metres and is paired with a 7-speed PDK. 20-inch RS Spider design wheels are standard, along with 360mm front rotors and 330mm rear rotors. There is Alcantara trim inside the cabin, 8-way sports seats or 14-way comfort seats available, a surround view camera, DAB radio and a rear view camera, but lane change assist and adaptive cruise control are optional. The Macan will make the zero to 100 km an hour run in 4.7 seconds. BMW's X5M starts from $209,900 and features a thumping 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 engine with 460 kilowatts and 750 newton metres along with a torque converter eight speed automatic. Standard features include four-zone climate control, premium Harman Kardon audio, keyless tailgate, soft closed doors, electric front seats and steering column with memory function, a panoramic sunroof, heated and cooled front cup holders, and an M-specific head-up display. Despite its heft, the X5M powers from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.8 seconds. The Audi RS Q8 starts from $208,500 and for that outlay, you get a 4-litre twin-turbo petrol V8 with 48-volt electrical assistance along with an 8-speed automatic. The engine pumps out 441 kilowatts and 800 newton metres and Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system gets the drive to the road. Standard equipment includes 4-wheel steering, 10 piston calipers and 420mm rotors up front, LED matrix headlights, 23-inch wheels, electric tailgate, power-assisted door closure, privacy glass, and a panoramic sunroof. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour takes just 3.8 seconds. Porsche doesn't just build brilliant sports cars, it does a pretty good job at building some high quality interiors as well, and that includes its smallest SUV, the Macan. Here we've got the GTS, and you get some little GTS details specific to this Macan, like the red Teco in the middle of the display there. Got red seat belts, some red stitching, GTS logos on the headrests. And overall, yeah, really very schmick cabin. If there's a negative, well, despite a fairly recent facelift, the Macan is getting a bit on in age and it still doesn't have the most up-to-date Porsche interiors that we've seen in the likes of the Panamera. So you've still got a bit of a button fest here on the centre console. And yeah, it's just a bit confusing when you're going along, kind of, you know, which button does which? We all know the BMW X5 is a practical large luxury SUV, but when you're paying $210,000 for the performance version, you want a bit of a sports luxury vibe. And the X5M really succeeds here. We've got some lovely carbon fiber panels here on the dash and the doors. We've got chunky bucket style seats in merino leather, really lovely padded hexagon style seating here. You also get that on the side of the doors. And one of my favorite features, because this is an M car, you get these lovely anodized red toggles on here for your M modes. The RS Q8 costs more than double the price of an RS Q3, the smaller performance SUV, but it genuinely feels like more than double the interior. You've got this beautifully presented expansive dash here in piano black. You've got these high resolution touchscreens here with haptic feedback, 
climate, infotainment, got a virtual cockpit here. Of course, you can get that in a regular Q8. So what brings the RS-ness to this car? Well, you've got things like the Alcantara panelling here on the doors. You've got these fantastic RS sport seats with ribbed leather stitching, very nice. Got some lovely metallic touches here on the dash as well. And of course, you get a perforated flat bottom RS steering wheel. Another bonus with the RSQ8, yes, it's a big SUV, but that means you also get palatial room in the back seat and a large boot. While you could argue that a Turbo S Macan might have been better placed in this field, we've always argued that the GTS is the sweet spot for any Porsche model, and like we've found with the 911, Boxster and Cayman before, the Macan is more than the sum of its parts. During our dynamic testing, the judges found that it's not so much the power or the torque figure, or where either is developed in the rev range. There's more to be made of the way the Macan uses what it has, and the security with which you can drive it quickly on a racetrack. An SUV that is as comfortable as the Macan is on road has no right to be as fast as it is on track. The judges noted the Macan's steering precision, balance and grip as highlights. The BMW X5M is undoubtedly a heavy duty hammer inside a velvet glove. Its brutal V8 and the way in which it delivers its power means it's fast, very fast. But the judges noted that you have to work hard to get the best out of the X5M on a tight track. It feels heavier than the more nimble Macan, and the steering doesn't have the razor-sharp precision of the Macans either. You can also feel the X5M transfer its weight from side to side as you increase the pace, but even though you have to work a little harder, the fact that you can drive a full-size luxury SUV as quickly as you can, the X5M, is impressive. Despite its size, the RSQ8 is a beautiful balance between the Macan's precision and the X5's hammer blow. It's a big SUV, but it's sharp, precise and balanced. You don't get a record-setting Nürburgring lap time by accident in this company. Riding on enormous wheels, the RSQ8 is as comfortable as it is competent on track, and the judges noted the way in which it changes direction at speed as a particular highlight. The engine is a monster, but it's the way the RSQ8 delivers its power and gets drive to the track that makes it so rapid. The judges had to keep reminding themselves that they were driving a large SUV. And the winner of the 2021 Drive Car of the Year's award for best performance SUV is the Audi RS Q8. This 441 kilowatt or almost 600 horsepower twin turbo four liter V8 plus practical well-sized family wagon is full of tech, offers 800 Newton meters of torque. And in terms of perhaps comparing it to something that sits a level above, the running gear in the RS Q8 is essentially the same as you'd find in a Lamborghini Urus. And I think that alone makes this a worthy winner of this year's trophy. The RS Q8 wins this category despite the inherent quality of the other finalists. To be fair, all three SUVs are way too fast for our tight test track in an outright sense. The Macan is an incredibly competent all-rounder, comfortable, fast and sharp. The X5M takes ballistic power and bulk to another level on track. The RS Q8, however, is the near-perfect mix of both. The fact that it ticks all the judging criteria boxes of practicality, luxury and performance is a bonus. The judges reckon if you only had one vehicle and it had to do everything, the Audi RS Q8 is as good as it gets.